How's it going, hey, folks? Welcome to the video. Today's background noise brought to you by my girlfriend's uncle's simmering resentment for us. I learned recently that he kind of wants us to move out. Which sucks, cause we really don't have anywhere else to live right now, but oh well. I added a sock to my video making setup. It helps mute the clicking sound from the selfie stick when I click it to stop recording. It is embarrassing how poorly I put these together. Anyway, I'm starting a new series inspired by the fact that a couple of days ago I woke up and a video that I'd made had achieved only two views in ten hours. And they were both me. They were both me. Both views were me. Yeah. Now, I have every intention of making this series about being more than just me crying about being a small YouTuber that nobody watches. Because I'm not totally unrealistic here. I'm aware that over 300 hours worth of video gets uploaded here every minute, and my stuff can, and very well, may be lost in the middle of all of that. In fact, I'm far from the only person this is happening to, so might as well just keep on going. And I did spend a pretty considerable portion of today feeling quite sorry for myself, but I thought, huh, why not turn that into productivity and work, as opposed to, you know, just be feeling sorry for myself. That's generally what I'm like. I like to be honest with myself. I really don't deserve more than two views. And it's not because my quality is terrible, though it is terrible. My editing is awful, my sound is crap, my camera is a potato. Um, but there's more to it than that, let's be fair. It's because I'm sticking to the kind of channel format that I want it to make, and that's actually what I'm supposed to be doing, so I, I shouldn't... I shouldn't whinge about it. I told myself right at the start that I was never going to be one of those people who just jumped on a bandwagon and followed a trending topic just because it was trending, just to catch a wave. I don't want to do that. I don't want a court controversy or drama of any kind. I don't want to be remotely clickbaity or, you know, non-transparent with the viewers. I, I just want you to see what's in the title, to know that that's what's going to be exactly in the video, and that there's this trust between you and me, the creator and the viewer. So yeah, back to what I said earlier. I don't deserve more than two views. I mean, I'm still going to whine about it. And I'm still gonna feel bad when I wake up and I check my phone and I see two views after, you know, hoping that I'd get quite a bit more than that. But, like I've said, I simply don't deserve that. I haven't earned it yet. And what I want to get across in this video is that actually I'm aware of the fact that I am adhering to the sort of channel principles and channel, you know, direction that I set out with from the start, and that's actually a good thing. I made a video before, which was called, like, eh, nobody watches my videos, it's kind of in the same vein, but I was sort of saying that, like, look, you just keep making your content and eventually the viewers will come. Now, as of yet, it's been a couple of weeks since then, still no viewers have come, but that's okay, I'm still making the content that I promised myself and you that I would make. And once again, I'm making this video not just for you, but also for me, a small YouTuber with a very, 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 very small following. Don't forget what your channel is. Don't forget what it's supposed to be. Don't forget about the kind of content that you're supposed to be making. I hope I don't ever do that, and I'm really trying not to. I just want to make my content. I want to talk about the things that matter to me most, and work out thought processes that I have in my head about certain topics and explore things deeper. I really like doing it in video form. I really like this sort of stream of consciousness, just thought spewing where I get my ideas out. It's never perfect. It's far from perfect. It's almost a little ugly, but at the same time there's a certain purity in there because it's totally unfiltered and I'm just getting it out there and working it out. And despite the fact that I'm mostly having a conversation with myself right now, I am still developing an idea. It is me and a camera, always, not just me and nothing. And yeah, it is tempting, it's so totally tempting to want to just, you know, 
hop on Twitter or check out one of the, the YouTube news or drama channels and, and see what's going on in the community and just be like, you know, I'm going to hop on this story because it's really hot or I want to talk about this because it'll get me some clicks. I'm really glad that I'm not doing that because I really feel like, you know, I've not, I've not like, you know, what's the word? I've not folded and, you know, totally like, you know, given up on my principles, my morals, and what exactly this channel was set out to do in the first place. It's a cockroach. I mean, I probably shouldn't have drawn attention to that, but the place is absolutely crawling with them and it really gets under my skin sometimes. I do find them creepy, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not winning any man points here, but I'm not exactly the most manly of men anyway. Can't grow a beard, for example. I have to stay the course. I have to keep going with what content that I want to make and I want to put out there. If I stop doing that just to catch views and get attention, then I've totally contravened who I am as a person and the nature of this channel, what this channel is here to do, which is simply to have conversations and to talk about stuff, all kinds of stuff. It doesn't have to be popular, it just has to matter to me or to somebody who contributes a topic. Which could be you, if you want to comment down below and add a topic. Hint, hint. This is especially important to me because of this one particular fact. I'm trying to grow a community, my own community. And I want the people in that community to be people I like. And I don't mean that in a biased way or in a like self-centered way. I mean it in this way. I don't want to start talking about controversial things or drama or attract, you know, a ugliness or conflict to the channel of any kind by tackling, you know, sort of like, you know, YouTube drama-centric topics or Twitter drama-centric topics. Because even though those are hot and stuff like that and they will draw views and whatnot, it will cause me to, at the same time, cultivate a following which is in part invested in and obsessed with drama. And that's a huge part of YouTube that I don't want to have anything to do with. I want this place here to be safe, even though I hate the term safe space because it's very, you know, a little too PC for my blood. I want the community that I cultivate to be just one that is purely interested in discussion. There are many channels out there that have done that very, very successfully, and I want to be like them. Except crappier, because they put more work into their videos than I do. But I've made my excuses before as to why these videos aren't particularly amazing, and I am working on them. I hope if you've watched a couple of my older videos, you can see at least a little bit of a difference. And if you can't, well, you know, shame on me, I guess. But yeah, that's the video. That's, that's generally the video. I guess I just need to remind myself where this channel is supposed to go, what it's supposed to look like when it gets there, and of the kinds of things I need to keep in mind when I'm making videos and what I'm supposed to expect in terms of growth, per se. I'm not gonna wake up anytime soon with a video with like hundreds of views or whatever, that's just not gonna happen. But that's also not the kind of content that I'm trying to create. I'm not trying to, you know, explode onto the scene. I'm trying to cultivate an archive of discussions on everything. And then eventually, as I've said before in my older video, you know, when people finally do get here, when they find me, which they will, hopefully, there's going to be a lot for them to watch. And I really think that's awesome. Wow, this really just is the video I made before. Damn it. All I want to really say is this. If you have a small channel and you're worried about not getting any traction, never attracting any attention, Try to stop worrying about that. The content should come first. Next will come the audience. Don't compromise yourself. Don't compromise your content just so you can catch an easy wave. Now, of course, that's not to say that subscriber input and subscriber desire is not important. Of course, it's extremely important to listen to your subscribers and that's what this entire channel is all about. At least it will be when I have subscribers. But if you don't stay true to the message of your channel, the overall message of your channel and the desired direction that your channel has and that you have for your channel, then you have no... Come on, Luke, words. Words. 
then you're losing something valuable and something unique about yourself and your channel just for the purpose of attaining some popularity. You are diluting your channel, you are causing it to lose its uniqueness and your flavour just because you aren't willing to wait out the, the starting period where things are really, really, really slow. We're gonna get there. We are. Okay. I'll see you when we both have 1 million subscribers in 300 or so years. Guys, that's the video. I hope you had a reasonably good time. I hope you thought some thoughts. If you want to add anything to the discussion, do so down below. If you don't want to do it here, you can do so on Twitter, Tumblr, and Instagram at Duketastic, as you can find down below. It's not a link, but you can type it in yourself. Okay? Uh, that's, that's it, yeah. Um, as always, take care.